And cheers, everybody. Welcome to Grown Ass Women TV. Oh, yes, ladies, that is a hashtag. Hashtag Gaw TV. Use that when discussing our show. And before we begin, we know you're going to love the program. So do us a little favor and like this video. Give us that thumbs up. Thank you so much. Make sure, yes, our hat's up in Mickey's case. Make sure that you are subscribed to our channel so you never miss an episode. And finally, our favorite part, please click the bell icon to enable notifications so you don't miss anything Gaw TV related. Hello to everyone in the chat room watching live. Hello if you're watching on replay. Ladies, how are we doing tonight? Oh, so good. So good. So, good. so freaking good. Oh my God. But speaking about like a big party, like, like, you know, Mickey's so busy, like, you know, touring and all this kind of stuff with Empower and her, you know, her single drop in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Way back in the country. Rooftops in the city. <laughs> now it's time, time that we tell the world. the world. Oh, show the world. Shut up. And I just listened to it again today. We're gonna have I to wake up, I wake night. up singing that song every freaking day. And David goes, What's that song? I go, It's Mickey's. Do you not know it yet? God, get with the program. Crown but speaking about partying. <laughs> yeah. I, lo I look forward uh, to those boxes every single day. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll be Snapchatting later to you. <laughs> Perfect. But, you know, speaking about parties, we always have the for the Patreon members, exclusive for the Patreon members, patreon.com slash God TV. We have an after party, top yep. of the hour after our show, the YouTube show, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We go party and you get to hear like inside scoop of our next guest, yes. inside scoop of like what we have not talked about on the show. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of exciting. Just and you can get the downloads. And then also the top tier Patreon, the gorgeous Patreon members get signed merchandise yeah. every month. God knows. Like, it's exciting. It is. it is very exciting. It is. Exciting. It is. It is. One of my favorite things, honestly. And I think that we have some real unique conversations that happen on there that just we don't even think. So it's just so fun. And I think if we were had the complete reins and had the capabilities of doing a live show week to week, that would probably be more like exactly like our show would go all the time. Yeah, yeah. So totally. it's, it's fun and it's fun to do that for our hardcore fans, our Patreon subscribers. And I think it gives them a whole new element, but obviously, you know, they also get the full show unedited version. Unedited, yeah. We have our show here on YouTube, but we have a longer version because of more extensive interviews and, mm -hmm. um, social peaks and all these things that we do throughout the week um that they get exclusive uh oh God, i don't know if i can do wait to do it search peak search peak <laughs> i gotta lean back i know i gotta lean back to do it lean back lean back lean back lean back with <laughs> it <laughs> um yeah but they also you know we we give that in video form on the patreon to all of our patreon subscribers but we also have for free the audio version for everyone if you want to hear the full unedited more extensive version of our show which is kind of what our show used to be before we cut it down to this format right um, you can now get that on the gall cast our official podcast so you know, our sponsors at LegacySubs.com, obviously helped, brought to you by, meow. Uh, but obviously we have, it's so cool. And we have Ella, a wrestling gal who joins us in our after parties, um, but is doing so much now, especially with women's wrestling in the community. So I appreciate her with Empower and with everything else, but she's been able to help us get it over into podcast format as well. So you get the whole thing on podcast or on Patreon in video form. And it's just amazing. Yeah, and also too, I hope she doesn't get too busy. She's getting scouted out by all these people yeah. to help them with their shows and stuff like that. And no. being a journalist and all that kind of stuff. I hope she doesn't forget about us little people. Yes. But speaking of Patreon, there's rewards that are always changing. As Lisa said, we have some signed merchandise this month. You can look through all the different tiers and find out what suits you. You know, we've got bonus footage. We've got merchandise discounts. We've got weekly video updates from us. There's a lot to see on patreon.com slash TV and the podcast. We also just want to put Mickey James over. And as the song we were just singing, trust us, it gets better than us singing it. Mickey James 
uh, and, and us, we want to invite you to download the single, the official Gaw theme song. Mickey, it's it's in our heads. We know that all the fans love it. So where can they download it? Just wherever you can download music, right? Wherever iTunes. You can download it, whether you stream it. That's even on the YouTube music channel. So you can go get it there. Uh, it's literally anywhere you can download or stream music. Whatever you do, so put it in your Spotify playlist. Put it in your TikToks. We're doing a a, a uh, gaw challenge on TikTok and reels on Instagram. So I'm really hoping that takes off because yeah. you know that's the wave of the future. If somebody can help me learn how to run my TikTok account, by the way, here, I don't know what I am doing. I do me either. Know. I've not mastered TikTok. I, don't know. <laughs> I can't, I can't tick or talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's amazing. And then with the girls with Chapel Heart, we just had that concert, which, Hey, social peak, you guys. Oh, time for social okay. peak. Oh, now we can hit whoa. it. Back to the concert, my first concert back from the pandemic, who the ladies of Chapel Heart were a part of. And Enya, which is this girl, she's local to Richmond and to the Virginia area. She's incredible. But the first show of the Grown Ass Woman's Tour was in my hometown in Richmond, Virginia. Got all kinds of press. We're going to throw to it here. Yay. <laughs> James is back in her hometown tonight to perform with Chapel Heart at the Canal Club at Shaco Bottom. She has juggled between being in the wrestling business while performing music for over 10 years and has released three albums, the last of which shows her growth as a singer and songwriter. Even the direction of that as much, I loved that album, but it was more rocked up and I felt like I was really starting to find my groove and uh, getting stronger as a songwriter and three or four of my songs made the album, but still the, uh, the rest of it was from other publishing houses and stuff. So this one coming and the last few singles that I've been putting out are all my own stuff, which is a really cool to kind of be in that space to go like, I'm really proud of what I'm doing now, you know, and we're putting out now. So that's exciting. I'm so excited, y'all. It was such a great, great uh, show and to kick off and just to come out. I, I told you I was so nervous going into it when I was, I've talked to you guys on my drive and stuff. Yeah. I haven't performed yet. Because it was two years almost since you time. performed. Was that, Mickey? Because by the way, thank yeah. you for sharing that with us. And, and did your family it. go? Yeah, we, we love seeing that. But I mean, how did it feel? Because we were talking before and it's like, man, this is a long time coming. And yeah. you being such a pro, that's one thing, but it's still got to feel a little bit weird that you're almost like a little bit rusty, right? I was absolutely terrified that I was going to be rusty and I really only had one hard practice with my band prior to the show. I, I went in early and practiced with them like two days before and we just to kind of nailed down the show and um, I was super nervous because it's different when you do on stage, right? Because it's really, you know, you, you lean on your band just like we lean on each other in the matches and stuff like that. I, I say it's a lot like performing on stage. It's just a different stage. I mean, it's a lot yeah. like performing in the ring. It's just a different stage and it's a different side of me um but i was really nervous but it came off amazing and i was so grateful and i was actually grateful to be able to do it in my hometown and kind of launch it and originally chapel heart weren't gonna like they weren't booked on the show they had a show in south carolina and they wanted to come so they asked and they were like we're gonna come we're gonna come to the show and i could not tell you like the energy at the tail end of the show after i did like an hour of music because and then I was like, then I brought the girls on stage and for the first time singing Gaw, um, the, you know, Gaw in front of a live crowd and to see people singing it back to us yeah. because they know the song by now. And it's like, it's obviously my family and my friends that are in attendance, but there's all these, you know, amazing people that came out to support us. And we uh, did their single, You Can Have Them Jolene, you know, the one that I was the security guard in. Yes. Yeah. Um, we did that single and then, we also did, Tree said, hey, do you guys know Inner Sandman? And I'm like, okay. No so way, I Metallica? I'm like, so my guys are metal guys, right? Like my guys, they do a lot of, like they have their own cover band. They do a lot of rock and metal. They obviously know it. And I know Inner Sandman, but I've never sung Inner Sandman until that night. And then oh, Tree, wow. in the middle of the song, just like, randomly goes into and this is how we closed off the show was inner sandman and then she randomly goes into let the bodies hit the floor so if you can rem imagine uh, we killed it the energy was i mean you know not to toot our own horn but toot toot and the energy was incredible i could not believe it i was like you are a wild woman and this is why i love uh, this is why i love them this is why it's i love so them fabulous. so much but yeah it was so so great and so hopefully we're gonna, that's just the start of so many to come 
Yeah. Oh my God. That I mean, that's exciting. Really, you know. It was let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. It, wow. It like 14 year old rest of Who did the, who did the high pitch? Ah! We all did. I, my voice was so sore the next day because that's a different oh. way to say. I was already yeah. my voice gets tired just from talking all day. But so you can imagine from singing, but then from screaming, I do not know how rock musicians do that, how no. they can scream like that. Cause you gotta think tours are a night to night basis, much like yeah. wrestling. How they can scream like that on a nightly basis is beyond me. Yeah, like Steven beyond. Tyler style. I don't know how he would do it. Yeah, I don't either. Well, because yeah. he's a he's, he's a, a damn legend. legend. Maybe he does a neti pot like Lillian Garcia used to do backstage. Probably. <laughs> I've heard all kinds of tricks. Like I used to lose my voice all the time doing announcing, and it's my brother-in-law who's a musician and, and in a band. He was like, like if you lose your voice, like it's, it's gone. You're not getting it back. It's very, you know, you can maybe get a few words, but no, it's done. Yeah. You lost your voice every single night, Val. I did. You know what's weird? Every I night. It, but I am. Um, I love air conditioning. I'm obsessed with it. I grew up with air conditioning, but I don't get sick in England like I used to get sick in America. So when I go to hotels in America and I blast the AC, I lose my voice. So it has to be right. something with that. Yeah, I never knew. Yeah, I would get tonsillitis over and well, over and over and over. I will say, because, you know, I've had a vocal coach and I've done all that before. And one of the things that I never do, and I never knew this before when I, before I hired Ron Browning is his name. Um, incredible. But he told me, and this is what, so I don't do dairy. Uh, I try to cut it out like the week of the show. Dairy. At least um, two days prior, I try. And then I only drink uh, room temperature water, especially the day of the show because it can cool down your vocal cords and it so you need to have your vocal and i eat and this is a reba mcintyre trick i eat plain lays potato chips i've heard this one I'm like yay what, why, why? Why? Wait, is it, wait, why? Like, the grease the the grease and i it's like because i don't eat like i love french fries but it, i will overdo it and i'll put a, a few of those potato chips the saltiness and the lubrication of the oil on the chip and plus they're a real flaky yeah, chip. So it's not like you're dealing with a lot, you know, but it just kind of helps lubricate at your vocal cords a bit. Yep. Yeah. There's also for those listening, and if this is a topic that uh, interests you, uh, at Whole Foods, there's something called Singer Saving Grace. And I was doing a show, I was doing the Evolve show uh, in, I believe it was San Diego or one of the San Jose. Mm -hmm. And my voice was gone, but I sprayed this stuff. I'm not going to lie. I threw up before I went out. It, it, it tastes like liquid death. But guess what? Did I did I complete my promo and did I get my voice back only for that short promo? Yes, ma'am, I did. It's amazing. Yeah. I always it do it like that. I do a tea. It's like a peppermint tea, either a peppermint tea or I do the, you know that throat coat tea. Yeah. With some honey and lemon, and obviously a shot of whiskey always helps. That'll oh always yeah, yeah 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 yeah. That helps. You know, I used to get really hot in the locker room in WWE. We always had lukewarm temperature bottled waters, and I'm like. I'm freaking hot. I'm like about to wrestle and stuff like that. And Lillian Garcipo is the one that requested the lukewarm because she had to sing the opening. Right. You know, and so we would have to go to catering to get the ice cold water. But it never, That's I never knew about that. Right. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah, that's why. That's well, I love, I love hearing names like Lillian and we love blasts from the past when it comes to professional wrestling. We have a guest tonight that is so exciting. She's just entered the room, ladies and gentlemen. Lisa? So who is it? Who is it? No, you, Val. Val, who is it? Well, I got to tell you, it is someone that we all know and love. She is just such an iconic character from professional wrestling. She's someone that's always stayed true to this character, and she's behind the character, one of the nicest, most loyal, wonderful people that you'll ever meet. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a true grown-ass woman. Welcome, hey. Daphne, to the show. Yeah, another, another another character that does a mental case, like Nikki and I. <laughs> she did psychotic right characters. So let's introduce <laughs> well, another psychotic character. There she is. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's tiny top hat time. There she yes. is. You're wearing hats in your honor. They're not tiny top hats, but it's the best we They're can not. do, Daphne. Yes. No, just, just yeah. hats. Just hats. Just hats. Yeah. yeah. Really, I forgot and, to have to put on my own tiny top hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i love that you mentioned like like uh, menopause going menopause it, i uh, am too are you i wouldn't enough? wish this on my worst enemy it is it is literally hell like as wow. like you're all, there we go now i feel like i fit in okay there we go uh, oh i got my special too 
Okay, so uh, here's cheers to my ladies. I love and here a, a special cup. Cheers! Oh, oh wow! Hey. Party hey. cup. Cheers! Yeah. Uh, thank you. Our favorite part of the show, Dap, is we ask you. We'll go. We'll have you go first as our guest of honor. Who are you wearing, and what are you drinking tonight, girl? What's going on? Tell us. All right. Well, I'm wearing a custom-made tiny top hat from Indonesia, as Taz liked to say. <laughs> then. Let's let, let's stand down a little bit here because yes. I did I did do PJs as well oh. because I had to mix it up a little bit. So so this is prepare to sell your soul Ooh. sold out two thousand WCW pay per view shirts. Oh wow! So this T shirt is twenty one years old. Wow! Older than you, Val. It's older than you, Val. <laughs> oh yeah! Right, right. So that's WCW nostalgia. <laughs> So that's what, what are y'all wearing? Was that, was that your 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 merchandise soul? I mean, your, your merchandise shirt or a WCW shirt? It was the paper per shirt. Because that that's like, what I always say when like when people join wrestling, I'm like, prepare to, to sell your soul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hit it on the nose. For the right price. Yes. Everybody's got a price. Mickey. That was one of the I'm telling you, tonight is going to be full of nostalgia and, and giggles and laughs. I will tell you that I am wearing my very Undertaker-esque hat you River are. Island. I believe the top is River Island as well. I am drinking a lovely Slim Rosé. It's more, it's like, it tastes like a Pinot Grigio blush, if you will. Mm -hmm. It's alcohol. We want to get real on tonight's show. And guess what? It's going to be great. Down the base, so much. <laughs> I love you. You. Oh, no, you, I love you. Oh, yeah. No, you. Are we going to, I love you, 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 oh my God. I love you so We're going to get the book fetishes. I know. I'm so excited to have you on the show. We've been looking forward to this so much. I haven't seen your beautiful face in so long, so I'm excited. Um, I'm wearing, as per requested, my hat here that I got at the antique shop down the street with a fancy, I don't know what I, why I, what I bought this for, why I was going to wear this, what I was going to wear it with, but I'm wearing it today for you. Did you put that little, little, little thing on there yourself around the thing? Women's, Wait, Res women's, women's no, Wrestling no. Matter. This is Ella J's t-shirt, Women's Wrestling Matters. That's Shout Ella. out to Ella. She's probably in the chat. Shout out to Ella. But yeah, no, I didn't make this, Lisa. I know my black one I made. I okay. Okay. Oh, and what am I drinking? Um, Camille came and left these at the house. So this is what I'm partaking in today. A strawberry tea from the Truly out of my Swig Life cooler. Swig Life? Swig Life. Yeah. Yeah. Swig Life. Mm -hmm. uh, Val, would you like, did you already go? Oh, you already talked. Okay, sorry, sorry the rosé in your Undertaker hat. I am wearing uh, a hat that I wore against Cody Diener. We had an MMA match. That was the hardest thing to do. And I was like, you know, it's really ugh, frustrating. But um, I, I used to take um, uh, Brazilian, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu BJJ. And the, my, my coach used to call me Baca Loca. And it's a tap out. This is old school, dude. This is, oh, is tap out. Is tip, tap out. Tap out still there? Is there? Is this still exist? This is still a tap out, but people, I mean, only MMA people are actually wearing tap out t-shirts or people who want to be an MMA. Yeah. I okay. Mean, well, they yeah. They know that they like MMA or that they're practicing MMA. Uh, oh, yeah. It's like, like wearing affliction shirts. Exactly. I, oh gosh. What oh I God, I hate Hardy. that. Remember all those Ed Hardy shirts? Just, oh. oh. And some of the wrestlers, like even like from to this day, will still wear it. And it's like, dude. Wasn't cool then, really not okay now. Stop. Oh, man. Yeah. I have yeah. an Ed Hardy dress yeah. that I still have a hold of that I can't let go of because I loved it. It's a beautiful- Was it the wings, shirt. the wings in the back and stuff like that? I had a bunch of Ed Hardy stuff and I still have a bunch of my Affliction stuff that I go like, I can't really wear this, but what <laughs> am I going to do with it now? Honestly, Mickey, it, it'll yeah. sell because it's- it, it's Sell like, it. You know, when, when it was God so damn popular. it. Yeah. All the Tommy Hilfiger stuff from like the '90s is like now really cool and on trend, and it sells for vintage prices that are insane. So oh, I got an interesting story. That why they call me, he called me Baca Loca when I used to train with him. I can't pay attention like you guys know me very well. ADHD queen, right here. He would go. I go. Okay, I got it. I got it. He goes. I didn't explain the move, and I'm like, oh, okay. He goes. You need to settle down. You're Baca Loca, crazy cow. Crazy cow. Crazy cow. <laughs> 
I'd be like, you know, bro, smooth. Literally. You know who carries um, Tom Hilfiger and all that kind of stuff? Ross. Ross still carries all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I love a good Ross find. I, I do too. Have, I still have my Ed Hardy hat that I came to say, see Mickey James. And I uh, came up to it. I didn't go to the show, but I just came to see you afterwards. We were hanging out. We were up in the room. And then I had to skate back home. You were raffling in my town or something. And I had to put your hat on. And you're like, that looks so cute on you. You should take that. I'm like, no, no, no. You walked me to the elevator. And right before the doors closed, she went, Phew! and she threw it in. And she's like, love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you mentioned, Vicki, yeah. um, how we all met. So I have to talk about three little letters that I say these three letters. Do you know what I'm going to say? I do. We have an entire episode on memories from W-E-W. -E <laughs> Women's Extreme Wrestling. I'm pretty sure that's where I met you, wasn't it, Jeff? I think it, I'm pretty sure, like, that's where we really bonded. I might have yeah. met you here or there, but then right. Franny was like, she's a teenager. And I was like, <laughs> she, <laughs> she's, she's a teenager. Yeah, I was. I, I, you know, I was so young at that point that I remember the after party was at a Dave and Buster's and you had to be 18. And I was like 16 or I think I was 17 and I couldn't go. And the whole bus had to just take me home by myself. And everyone else went because I was like, OK, bye. I was really Did young. they card you at Dave and Buster? Did they card you? Oh, yeah. Oh, they did? OK. Uh, yeah. <laughs> With those memories, we've talked about this so many times on the show, Daph, about just how hilarious those memories were but a lot of good came out of it i met so many people there velvet sky was there angel i mean uh we've talked about so many names from the past uh Maybe. ty killer weed ty killer weed uh, franny i mean you and i really really did it and we had so much fun you had the at least for some of the shows you always had like a cool like crazy colored wig and like a really fun gimmick yeah it was really fun it was i was um i was taught had a picture of a match of it was me managing Lacey and Rain, mm -hmm. and you managing Sumi and Any Social. Yes. And it was a weapons match. So we had like, you know, like just all these little stupid little gimmicks. Like there was like a little American flag on a stick and like stuff and like a pillow. So we were like, I'm like, <laughs> this is about that's what I'm going to say. My favorite so thing ever. as a manager, you know, you're like, okay, you guys have both been there. And we're like, all right, so what's my cue? You know, like, what's going to happen? And so he's like, okay, so this and something, a piro, 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 then death. And I was like, me and Val are looking at each other. Like, we don't want to insult. I remember this video because I think it, it, it must be some really cool Japanese move I've never heard of. I know. Piro, piro, piro. Piro, piro, piro. So I'm like, I'm so sorry, Sumi. I don't know what Piro is. What's Piro? She goes, you know Piro. Oh. Go to street, Piro. <laughs> That's so cute. Piro, you know, Piro, Piro, Piro. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. She's the sweetest girl in the world. We were like, oh my God. And she was not offended. I mean, we all we all laughed. We all so laughed. We, it was a running joke. It still is a running joke. I saw her a couple of years ago and we Piro. You shriek me? You mean Piro? You Piro? Oh. She was a gem and a half. I love her. I love her. And we so were much. able to, they would just say, hey, it's you guys versus you guys. Go out there and do whatever. <laughs> Go out there and, and do it. Would. Do and whatever. Running at me with, with the feet kicking, going, you better get out of 50 and just kicking and kicking. And, and I have never laughed and tried to control laughter or anything like that with cameras around ever in my life. It was so effing funny. Yeah. I couldn't get eye contact. I couldn't make eye contact with Val. If I looked at Val, same with Shine. When I was across from you and Shine, I would have to. I would have to look right off to the. I couldn't look exactly at your face. No, I remember Not looking through little. the ring at you and being like, "No, don't look at her face because she's gonna do something to to make you laugh." <laughs> Because Mickey, okay, so we were just talking about this. So not only that was it funny, but it's also like 2 a.m. We're delirious. We've been there for like 18 and a half hours. Because Mickey was bringing up, and I forgot about this, how late those shows used to run. Oh, my God. Oh, I hated it. It'd be like there, I would always say, like, dude, Dan, seriously, pay me when I get there. Because I am not sitting around this bar until 3 a.m., 4 a.m. for you to whatever. No, I yeah. cannot. First off, no. you're in Froggy's Bar in Dover, Delaware. No. <laughs> I got somewhere to go. You're not paying me enough, bro. No. <laughs> I have a signing this weekend at an independent show. And my fear, I go to bed at 8 o'clock, you guys. I'm in bed 6.45 watching my 
paranormal activity shows, right? And I'm, I'm starting to fall asleep at eight. And I have no idea what this independent show is going to start. And I'm like, if it goes past 11, I, I can't do it. I, I can't function. I'm freaking old, dude. I want to go to sleep. You'll have to right? Go to sleep it's like, then. you'll have to just start staying up really, really late. Oh, no. <laughs> That's awful. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, because you've already got the time difference. Yeah. You know? And then it being, that's like three in the morning for you. It is. Goodness. Yeah. If I can ask you a question from one of our fabulous uh, patrons, his name is Mickey D. He's one of our absolute favorites. He's from Australia. Another shrimp. Here's Aussie, Mickey. Aussie, Aussie. Oi, 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 oi. Mickey D had a very poignant question for you, Daphne. He asked, what has been the hardest part of adjusting to life outside of wrestling? And we talk about this a lot on the show that like people just think, oh, well, if, if wrestling is done, then it's just to them, you sort of fall off the face of the earth because they go, oh, what are you doing now? And if it doesn't include wrestling, you know, Nick and I have had this conversation so many times. Oh, what are you doing now? Well, life goes on. But what has been the hardest part of adjusting to life outside of the business for you, Dad? Well, um, thanks, Mickey D, for the question. Um, and, uh, you know, it's something that now that I've talked about it enough that I don't have to go cry if I want to but it's <laughs> I, I just it was hard enough like well I'm gonna cry the injuries oh cry if I want to ah. cry if you want to <laughs> die fight if you need to <laughs> um so that was hard because I had to go through the whole workers' comp claim and like people didn't understand what I was fighting for. People thought I was filing a personal injury claim and I'm like, no, I'm filing a workers' comp claim and I'm trying to prove in a court of law that wrestlers are employees and that we are not independent contractors and we are not protected by an athletic commission and we are not protected by SAG and we are both and it is not fair. And I was like, I'm gonna fight. And I wanted, so I went all the way through the Department of Labor in Tennessee, and then it went up to a higher court. So it got drug out and drug out, and I got filing after filing. Oh, you filed in the wrong county. Oh, you, the statute was up. So they did all these stall tactics. And so while that was going on, I literally was on my couch. Uh, I get up at like eight, and by 9.15, I just couldn't move. That, that my head was just, psh, psh. and I'd get called, when are you coming back? Hey, we, we don't want to just come manage? And I'm like, I'm never going to be able to wrestle again. And Mickey was there the night it happened. And we've talked about that. So it's, I think it was not until a little bit later that people really realized the seriousness of concussions. And I'm like, yeah, I was there the night Bret Hart got kicked in the head by Goldberg. And he told me, I don't think I'll ever wrestle again. And he did it, you know? And so it was just, it, it, I had to absorb that. And then it's like, okay, well, how can I stay in the business? Oh, I'll, I'll work behind the scenes. And then my physical health got bad. So then, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of being lost, a lot of being lost and a lot of soul searching. And, you know, uh, finally, you know, I thought, okay, I'm back in Atlanta now. This is where I got my bachelor's in 98 at Georgia State because I was supposed to work behind the camera. And then somehow I ended up being in front. So I thought, okay, I'll work on, on sets and I'll work in production in Atlanta. With my degree, like they wouldn't even hire me to pick somebody up at the airport. Like I wouldn't, he couldn't even be an airport runner. And I said, do I really want to be in entertainment full time anyway, anymore? No, I want to give back. So I'm in school now, finally deciding like through the pandemic and stuff, it was still kind of like, what do you do? Everything shut down. But um, I'm getting my second bachelor's in human services and that was one of the, the job I started this week as a gentleman who has CTE from playing football. And he's only 73. And he's, I mean, I'm like, wow, it's, I, it's very eye opening, the head injuries and what's, what's coming, you know? And so I'm starting off as a caregiver for him, finishing school, and then a uh, court appointed a special advocate for foster children. I'll be, you know, have a degree for that and just, and I mean, just like what it's called human services. I just want to be a helper. 
you yeah. know? So, um, yeah, that's kind of like, but it, but gosh, y'all, it took years. <laughs> it took years to figure out for me but can we say yeah. cheers to the selfless path that you've decided to take and help others. That's really cool. I want to say cheers. Yeah, to that. cheers. Uh, yeah. and so, so I would like, I would assume like, like we were going to ask you like what advice you give to independent wrestlers, but I always give the advice. Like when, when I have parents come up and going, oh, my daughter's going to be a future diva or a wrestler. And I'm like, college, college and golf, pro golf. Like I make a future, like, because what if like you tear your knee, you break your neck, get a concussion, you're done. What are you going to do? Yeah. You have to go back to school again. And you, you, go, you have to have a backup plan. And then if you happen to make it into wrestling, which is a very difficult thing to do, um, but I say, you know, still follow your dreams. I'm not being a Debbie Downer, but um, save your money. Yeah. Save your freaking money. Kind of you don't have to get brand new gear every single week. Mm -hmm. Save your money. Yeah. yeah you know? It was, it was like that. Like, uh, that was one of the things I, I thought it would be interesting to talk to you about, Mickey, is like when we were coming up. Um, well, first of all, I like, we were talking about where we first met. I like kind of felt like I knew Lisa before I met her because I knew Tori. And in WCW. So when I met her for the first time, I'm like, hi, but I'd never met her. Yeah. Before. <laughs> so I probably like, reacted the same way though. I think I was like, still like, ah! like you feel like you know each other. Yeah. I feel the same way too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, um, so yeah, it was cool. Um, so I, I was wanting to throw back, circle back to that real quick before to say like, um, what to say to young women in the business coming up now. Well, it's so different. It, when we were coming up, it was, you had your Rand McNally. There was no, you know, that barely was MapQuest. You know, you had to have your roots all, you know, whenever you get into your town. Um, if you're doing the Indies and like I was, you know, I was in Atlanta, I, I was mostly like the Southeast. There's like, just like a handful of girls that be like, we want to book you down in Valdosta, Georgia. And it's going to be either her or her because there weren't very many of us. In the Carolinas, it was, you can wrestle Persephone or Amber O'Neill. I mean, that was like the only, you know, like two people. Where now there's just so, the seminars that I've done, it's just all these women and you see, yeah, okay, you can make it. And now there is a lot more, um, many more companies there's much more content and things but i still think there's a little bit of oversaturation of kind of just like how it was there's not as, as many spots as there are people oh, and so you have to take that advice of you know just like kind of when shine was starting and like after the first year or so i'm like nah she's she's not gonna stick around for much longer she's she wants to be a mom, I can tell, you know, or whatever, whatever it is, or, ooh, we're gonna have to hurry up and do something with her because she's gonna get snatched up because she's a superstar, you know? Um, so it's um, it's just all the old tricks is really just being respectful of your veterans. It, it means so much to me. Um, the last Shimmer show I ever did, I rode up in the van with Sal, Kaylee Ray, so I love her. Okay, I know. I love. She. I have to say, slow down. And um, Kaylee Ray, solo darling, and Nikki Storm, Nikki Cruz. I said, Nikki Storm, <laughs> Nikki Storm. She said, Oh, Daphne. Oh, will you watch me match me promo? Oh, and I'd be like, Nikki. Uh -huh. Oh my god! Wow, such good girl. That's a very good accent, by the way. That's great impression, dude. Wow! Yes. <laughs> oh god! She worked her butt off. Sure I mean, did. she would, and she, uh, Lexi, Allison Danger, Madison Eagles is another like locker room leader that you just go up and like, hey, Alex, you know, da 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 da, and you know, at Portia Perez, just people these genius minds in the in this and you know Prezak by the time it's the day of the show he's kind of like just ready for the filming to start he's up till four right in the card out stuff like that but but Nikki would just she was a sponge she took your advice she would stay in touch and when she got signed and I said congrats Nikki she's like oh Daphne oh thank you so much you know and just she just <laughs> I, I love, love it. I love I it. I always say, her. Nikki Knight Roy, it's Nikki Knight Roy. <laughs> Nikki Knight Roy. 
I remember seeing her the first time I set, saw her, and I saw her side by side by Kaylee Ray because Kay, and Kaylee Ray was the whole hot new chick on the scene, um, and she was working with Nikki a lot. And I remember seeing them together, and I was like, they're both amazing. But I tell you, this Nikki girl, she's gonna be a star. She's gonna be. They're both gonna do great. They're both gonna oh, be yeah. star. But Nikki had this like certain uniqueness, and I think that's what it takes is honestly embracing what makes you different Just not trying to fit into what everybody else is doing but dare to be different and embrace what makes you different and special because that's what that uniqueness and that like little star quality is really what's going to take you to a different level and make, to make people take notice totally you know yeah. I, I think that's that's the really powerful thing but yeah i love Lily. yeah, yeah. I want to say a couple things like one, I would really love for you to come to St. Louis and, and be there for Empower as my sister, as my friend, I would really love for you to be there. I mean, I'm going to have VIP red carpet. We're going to do a fanfare. I know how you're feeling, but if you want to come, even if you want to um, sleep in my room and snuggle with me, like I'd really love for you to be there, but there was- I want to snuggle. It's for Daphne. It's not for anyone watching. That's between them. Okay. So no. yeah, not everybody. <laughs> nobody, not everybody. Daphne. Daphne. Yeah, yeah, no. But That's for really only me. Fantastic weekend, and I think everything your contributions to the business and everything that you've done for me as a friend and for the women of the industry, especially the women that are shining today, um, I think it'd be really powerful if you could be there. But there was one conversation or one interaction that I saw online that really made me take notice of a specific talent who I just got off the phone with today and asked her to be a part of Empower, and that's Miss Jamie Senegal. So. my daughter <laughs> oh uh, i'm so glad you picked her oh <laughs> you're gonna make me cry yeah she's so i i really you I'm, know how to pick them you will you will not be sorry how that well how awesome would that be come hang out be able to see you and to see her um she is a dear, dear person, so talented. She and she needs she needs that guidance, but she's always evolving, changing, open to feedback. Just she just she and then she's just got such a beautiful is powerful. Story. I think her story is powerful and it's pretty incredible. And I think if there's anything that we can do is tell a person's story in a in an authentic place. And I think that the world needs to hear her story, you know. And I think that if there's a place and if I can put a, put a position to be able to do that. And the fact that you, you had, you don't even realize it, but the, the minute that I saw, cause I had already kind of, she had sent in her stuff. She had sent in a couple things. And the minute that I saw, and it was indirectly and you didn't even mean to do it, but I love you so much. And I respect your opinion so much. There was a specific tweet that I saw that you had said something to her. And I said to myself, I need to take another look at her. I need to, I need to really take another look at her. And then I, that's what you're, you, I, you help catalyst that decision for me to put her in that position. So, um, yeah, I'm anyway, so but well, I'll call you and I'll talk to you about all that, but I just spoke to her today and I was actually, and I spoke to Paula Del Mar to maybe perhaps showcase, do something with them together as the a, one that was on just a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh. no, she, no she did an interview with me and she's doing the whole she's yeah doing, the one i'm sorry the one yeah, that you were okay. on yeah. i was on hers yes yeah, yeah. yeah. that's right oh my god i love that oh my god well, i did too oh my gosh wait, wait, wait where's our newscast i, I, I know yeah. it's like baby, baby, baby. Here on gosh i want to before before we say goodbye daphne thank you for being such a great role model and all your sacrifices for the business and staying a friend and being true to yourself and just spreading the word. You're an amazing person. Honestly, we love you. We love you. Love you we so love much. You. Love you. to the Queen to. Daphne. We love you so much. Yes. Queen Daphne. Queen Daphne. I love you. I can't scream. I can't scream, but I try. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. And for those of you watching, we are about to end the show here, but the party continues on patreon.com slash TV. Zoom after party happening at the top of the hour, 6 p.m. Eastern. We'll see you there. Daph, we love you. Subscribe, everybody. Goodbye. This is the word. Go, yo, go.